One of the most common requirements in SolarWorks automation is an ability to export files using flexible naming. For example, we want to use file name, configuration name or values of custom property as a part of output file name. As a part of this demonstration, we are going to export the files using the custom property part number and revision. This macro allows to export multiple files at a time and also has a very flexible naming. So you can use file name, you can use custom property value or any other free text as a part of the file naming. So in this case, I'm just going to use partner custom property and revision custom property and export to step, parasolid and STL. Now we can just simply run the macro. And as a result, we're going to have three files exported to our output folder next to the assembly. As a result, we can find our output files in the output folder. And the files have been exported as per the naming convention. Of course, in most cases, you would want to run it for multiple files in the folder or in the assembly. So this assembly contains multiple files and all of those files have revision and part number custom property filled in. I will be using free and open source batch plus tool to export files from this assembly. You can click batch run macros command and here you can either select the files from the assembly, you can specify multiple filters such as top level or all levels, assemblies or parts, or you can simply select the component from the feature manager tree to apply this macro for all the selected components. So let me just select several components from the tree. In the macros area, I can just drag and drop macros I want to run. It could be one or many. So in this case, I'm just going to drop one macro. You have multiple options. So for example, because we do export, I will check allow read only. So in this case, the files will be open to read only if needed. As you can see, now the every file is open in its own window and macro is run. You can see the status, summary and journal to inspect the results. So all of our four files have been exported correctly. And if I navigate into the output folder, you can see there are output files in here. When you need to export dozens, hundreds or thousands of files, you might need to look a more reliable way to exporting those files. When you do it from within the SolidWorks process itself, you might run into the problem where the resources are not enough and your SolidWorks can simply crash or hang. In this case, you will need to start the process all over again and you might want to split it into smaller batches. Much better and more reliable approach is using the Batch Plus Standalone. This will run as a standalone application and will manage your SolidWorks instances. So let me start new project. Here I could just select the files or folders I want to export. You can select multiple files or folders if needed. For folders, you can specify the filter. So let's say I'm just going to process SolidWorks part file. You have some additional settings, such as SolidWorks version you want to run, do you want to run it in the background, open read only, etc. You can also set timeout and default batch size. So after batch size is reached, SolidWorks will be restarted, resources will be freed, and typically you're going to have a better performance. So just set it to 10 files. Now I can drag and drop macro or macros I want to run and click start to start the process. Batch Plus will launch SolidWorks instance and it will manage that instance. So if your SolidWorks crashes, it's going to automatically restart. It will try three times to process that file. But if there is a problem in the file itself, it's going to skip that file, mark it as an error and continue with the next file. It will also automatically close all pop-up windows, ensuring that the process will be completed without the need of user inputs. While the process is running, we can inspect the results, status and journal for our job. Now our job has been completed. You can see that all files have been processed successfully and we can simply navigate to one of those files and inspect the output folder. So you can see we now have multiple files from all of our input files exported to this folder. Please follow the links in the description of this video to download this macro and batch plus. Thank you for your time.